All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to the Armor Up Striking Progression. First of all, pretty excited because I'm rocking the new IWS Apex jeans that we just released on the Dynamis site. So we're working combatives right now, and we're in this type of environment. I'm rocking my blade, my pistol, and an extra mag. Uh, no belt, because we don't need a belt, because it's clipless, working that IWS system. Today we're talking about the low line strike. The low line strike today is a back kick. Okay, we're gonna work that back kick and that power progression. Now, a back kick is something that a lot of martial artists use. You know, Kung Lee's really good at it. And there's guys out there that have perfected to do the back kick. Now, I don't expect you to become an expert at this overnight, but it's important to understand, especially for spatial awareness, working different angles. And if you've never done this before, it's just good to know how to do it. It's good to work your body in these different angles. When we're throwing a back kick, it can be an extremely destructive strike. We can throw it for a lot of different reasons. We can throw it to, to kick down doors. We can throw it when we're at an odd angle. Just knowing how to do it is gonna help you understand that spectrum of combatives with everything else that we're doing. So when we're throwing this back kick, again, first, I wanna shadow box it first. I wanna get that hip mobility. When I'm trying to get the momentum and the power that way, typically what's gonna happen is I'm, I'm gonna step with that lead leg before I release this kick. And that kick is just gonna go straight back. Depending on your hip mobility and how your foot turns is how it's gonna determine how you get that power. So if I'm throwing it on the wall here, if I step back with this foot, then I throw this leg back, I'm gonna to kick towards that, that hip and abdomen area. You know, yes, the perfect shot is that I get a nice liver kick right to the midsection. But I'm trying to load this power up and then throw that weight back there so I can get a good midsection kick. Work that shadow boxing strike first, load that kick up. You don't need to load, but it develops a little bit more power and then release that kick. Okay, if I'm gonna kick to the rear, well, typically I wanna know what I'm kicking at or what angle I wanna kick at. So I'm usually gonna check first over my shoulder, unless there's a reason that you know preemptive that you're gonna do this, but I'm gonna check over my shoulder, I'm gonna load this leg and then I'm gonna release that striking foot. Same thing on the other side. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna load, and then I'm gonna release that striking foot. So here. Now into this guy. Okay, it's definitely a strike that you can throw without realizing that it's gonna happen from the other guy. So it's definitely can be preemptive. You can shoot for the knee, hip, abdomen. It's just good to know how to throw. Again, that striking progression is work the shadow boxing, get the technique down, load that leg up, look, and then throw the strike. Work to 50%. Work to the point where you're getting it down and you're working that technique. Looking over your shoulder, being able to just throw that kick where you want it to go. Okay, work the other side. And then work to your full power strikes. Go to 100% as hard as you can. Kicking shield is gonna be the best for this. Obviously this guy's nice because it's a little bit more realistic, but you can also do it on a wall. <laughs> Make sure that you're not kicking through sheetrock and you either have a stud or a wall that's gonna be sturdy enough to take that kick. But work this, work this strike, it's really good to know how to use. It's not like my first combative choice, but it's certainly something that's good to know how to throw because it is a powerful strike and it just opens up that spectrum of what you guys are gonna be capable of. Thanks for joining us on this uh, session of the Armor Up Striking Progression. See you guys in the next one. And make sure you go check out the IWS Apex at CrushEverything.com.